Android 14 developer preview one has arrived and this is basically the very start of a potential seven month love affair here on the channel with all of the nuances of Google's next mobile operating system. But without any further ado, here's everything you need to know. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Before we get into the meat of this video, it's not clear just how many changes we'll see moving through the developer preview phase right up to the public beta, at least at this stage. However, Android builds are always a big deal around these parts, as you'll know. Just like every year before, we'll be diving into the intricacies to give you a lowdown on the best functions and features. And as this is actually not intended for the average Pixel user, you probably shouldn't sideload or install this on your main handset. That's our forewarning for you. We'll take risks and report back with our findings for ourselves so that you don't have to. Of course, as well as that, Google's timeline means that we're actually going to see five more releases for a total of six, including this one, before the consumer launch later this year on Pixel phones first, and then more as OEMs adopt these Android 14 changes. If you want to quickly install the Android 14 developer preview one on your compatible Pixel 4a 5G, Pixel 5, 5a, 6 series, 6a or the 7 and 7 Pro, then you'll find a link to our guide down below. Sadly though, it looks like Android 14 is going to be missing from the Pixel 4a, even despite that device hitting store shelves in August 2020. But without any further ado, warnings out of the way, let's get into these new functions. So Google may have publicly stepped away from the classic Android build dessert code names, but that doesn't stop the internal versions from being shared. We've known for a long time that Android 14 or Android U would be referred to internally as upside down cake. And that is now visible if you sideload the developer preview one on your device. What you'll need to do is you need to head into settings about phone or settings system and system update. And you'll see that this latest version is upside down cake with no spaces. Sadly though, the new system icon has not yet changed. Instead, you'll still see the Android 13 T logo when you plug in a cable or access USB preferences. But we expect that to change in a future update. Android 14 developer preview one being the latest build from Google also comes with the latest publicly available security patch preloaded and packed within it. The February 2023 security patch is available as part of this developer focus build so that you're secure from the very jump if you were worried about moving from the stable channel or even a previous beta to this specific build. The introduction of Android 13, if you didn't know, included a slow rollout of an enhanced security and privacy section, which helps you better manage your on-device and account security. This section, though, is getting some minor changes in Android 14 developer preview one with section subheadings now seeing the removal of the associated drop down menus. Not only does this now mimic the wider settings sections that you'll see across all of Android, but it also streamlines with a tap now opening the prerequisite menu or subsection. All options are also visible without you particularly needing to expand these smaller menus, therefore speeding up access and making it a little bit more visible at a glance or when you first enter this section. There are also a couple of changes to the battery section in Android 14 developer preview one. One of the most notable is to the battery saver section and how this operates. Google has decided to streamline this system area with all options now available right from here. From here, you're able to choose between basic and extreme battery saver options within one pane rather than needing to enable the battery saving option first and then toggle that enhanced version. The adaptive battery toggle also now has a new home here in probably the most obvious section for it to be found. Another change is that scheduling is handled within the schedule and reminder section. From here, you'll also notice that Google has removed the ability to set battery saver to enable based upon your routine, whatever that happens to be. What's more, the minimum battery percentage to activate this has been upped from 10% to 20% when automatically toggling based upon your device battery percentage or percentage available. There's also a new battery saver reminders toggle within this area that will activate notifications when you're running low on lifespan. Back with the release of Android 12, Google changed the way in which the popular but flawed screen on time metric was displayed on Pixel phones. This change made it such that your device would show your battery usage on your display over a 24 hour period. Thankfully though, for those that care about this metric, 
Android 14 Developer Preview 1 has restored the ability to see just how long your screen has been on since your last full charge. Provided you have charged your Pixel to 100%, when viewing the battery usage screen, there's now a prominent screen time since last full charge section right at the top that will show you just how long your screen has been powered on. As we note though, this is a somewhat flawed metric as longevity is also tough to decipher without usage context, things like if you're using games or if you're using text messaging applications. That said, it is still nice to see this return for those of you out there that like being able to see just how long your display has been powered on each and every day. Another important change to this section though is in how battery consumption is sectioned. Instead of an inline drop down that lets you expand by applications and system usage, both options are now separated by a menu that toggles each in unique view panes. Basically, you can't see these together. The result is similar, but it does clean up the process of analyzing your battery consumption, at least on your device. The taskbar is also one of the biggest new features that has been added to Android for at least for foldables and large screen devices like tablets in recent OS updates. Here in this first developer preview of Android 14, Google is also making some changes to how this works with names now appearing underneath app icons. Ordinarily on your smartphone, this is actually not visible, but for screens with a tablet DPI or 600 plus DPI, on the first preview of this Android 14 build, the taskbar will now show names below dock app icons. It's actually worth noting that this behavior isn't technically new. In fact, it has been seen before, but it was not the default behavior when it was seen previously. On larger devices, this will no doubt help identify those unfamiliar app icons, especially if you're using themed icons, and maybe don't have a full grasp of what you've got saved there. If you head into the connection preferences section from within settings, the fast pair option has now reappeared. At this stage, it seems as though this area does not populate with any devices, including those that support fast pair, like the Pixel Buds Pro, for instance. We just have to wait and see what Google has in store for the option, but it definitely leads us to believe that we'll see more from this in future. Material U and dynamic color are obviously core tenets of Android 12, Android 13, and now Android 14. We've seen a few tweaks since the first introduction of this, and the signs are that we could see more with developer preview one and future updates. When you launch the wallpaper and style section in Android 14 developer preview one, you may notice that the options within the basic colors tab seem to have a little bit more vibrancy. It looks very much like Google has tweaked the first four color carousel, the rest seem to be fine, with brighter, more visually standout options. In previous builds, you'll often see earthy tones such as green and brown being more dominant. These appear to have been replaced with these lighter options that definitely fit better with a vibrant, more visually appealing UI, especially for sections such as the quick settings toggles where these will be most prominent, and of course, menu sections, so on and so forth. It's really nice to see Google tweaking this, but of course, we may see this change later on the line again too. All in all, that's a fairly small selection of changes made here in Developer Preview 1. We expected a few more, but there are some, at the very least. We're probably going to see some more later down the line. We're not expecting Google to do a huge overhaul, but there will be changes. We're sure of that. If you are wondering how well this runs, well, I have to say for a Developer Preview, it seems pretty darn stable or reliable, at least at this stage. And it's really, really close to Android 13 QPR beta builds that we've tested. I still wouldn't be fully confident in saying that you should run this on your device, but it's definitely a lot better than those previous Android developer builds that we've tested over the last few years. Of course, we will be delving deeper into each and every single thing that has been added, including some features that may require a little work to get fully operational in our full overviews coming later this year. Yes, the countdown is on to the stable release, at least from our perspective. But I want to know uh, what you think is the best feature so far or what you want to see from Android 14 in general. Let us know down in the comment sections below. And of course, to celebrate the launch of Android 14 developer preview, you'll find some of our exclusive wallpapers there too. Until next time, though, this is Damien with 95 Google, and I will speak to you later.